So, without further ado, I think it's time that we move on to the second half of this evening, um, which is announcing the results of the competition. It is my pleasure to hand over to Professor Alison Woolard. Um, Alison is the highly esteemed judge of our competition, um, and I believe she's going to say a few words before announcing all of the prizes. Okay, great. Can you hear me, Catherine? Is that all good? Excellent. So it's great. Thank you all for coming today. Um, I don't know about being highly esteemed. I would say I was certainly very lucky to be judging this um, video competition. I've had a really great time um, watching them. I've been watching them with my 17 year old daughter because I, I felt that, you know, she'd get some, someone from the same kind of age groups to have a view on these as well. So um, it's been quite good fun. Um, for us to work together but we were both really just blown away by the standard by all the work you've put in by finding out about scientists i'd never heard of before um, so just want to say thank you so much for you know giving all of us the opportunity to, to to gain from your insights and from your work and from your research and you know god you're amazing so i hope you all study science and um, become the next generation of researchers because I think that uh, science will be a, a fantastic place um, and a very productive place if some of you or most of you stay in the field. So um, that's what I wanted to start by saying and I think we're going to go through the awards now. Uh, so all of your videos have been on YouTube so people have been watching them and people have been watching them a lot amazing i mean i was blown away by the numbers of people watching these actually and people have been giving them thumbs up and all sorts of things and, and so that's the metric that we've used um to work out uh, where the audience awards go and so with no further ado i think we can move on to the next slide which is the winner of the audience award right so that is Nikesha patel who did an amazing video on Ignaz Semmelweis. I don't know if it's going to be possible for us to hear like that the, 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 the winner is somewhere with us and can just say, yay, or something like that. <laughs> is that. Is that possible? Can we do that? Hello, can you hear me? Is that Nikisha? Okay, yes. thank you for this award. It means a lot. Um... Fantastic. Tell us why you chose Ignaz Semmelweis. Um, I thought he was a true unsung hero. I'd never heard of him before and he is also quite topical for the moment because obviously exactly. antibiotics and hand washing. All is... that hand washing, yeah. Yeah. And it's amazing actually how much just basic hygiene, what an effect that's had on, on disease and human lifespan. It's extraordinary. Um, yeah, exactly. And no one knew, well, I didn't know that it came from him. Um, it started with him, so... Exactly. Well, thank you very much, Nikesha. And we also have a runner up in the audience award. So I think if we go on to the next slide, we will see. So this was because there were two people who were right at the top. And okay. it was such a close battle between them that we felt that we couldn't let the, the okay. second place go unacknowledged. So this right. is the audience award runner up. Okay, so the audience award runner up is da -da -da -da. Shreya Aaron, who gave a video on Gertrude Elian. So do we have, can we, do we have Shreya with us today? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Brilliant. Thank you so much. It means a lot. So tell us about Gertrude Elian and why you chose her. Well, I chose Gertrude Elian because right now during COVID, antiviral treatments are very relevant. Mm -hmm. And I was also just really inspired by her work. I mean, she found the drugs to so many illnesses like leukemia and AIDS. And I thought that her work needed to be shared with a lot more people. Yeah, so. it's extraordinary how many different areas she influenced, wasn't it? Yeah. It's really, really extraordinary. Okay, thanks very much and congratulations to Shreya. Thank so you. now I think we're going to go on to our highly commended. Um, so these are ones which um, didn't win first, second or third prize. But to be honest, that was so difficult to judge because I just think they were all really amazing. So um, I've picked out three, which I just thought were just so close to getting that first, second or third prize. It was almost impossible to decide. Um, so we'll move first um, straight on to the first highly commended, which is 
drum roll, is Yasmin and Sienna Drummond, who made a video on Mary Maynard Daily. So do we have Yasmin and or Sienna? Hiya, can you hear us? Yes, we can. <laughs> Congratulations. Tell us, about your, tell us a couple of words about your choice. Um, so I did um, say this on my kind of um, explanation video, but um, choosing this kind of started on International Day for Women and Girls in STEM. Mm -hmm. and I was looking kind of um, at women of colour in particular, and Marie um, Daly was the first African-American woman to get a PhD in chemistry. So um, that was kind of what inspired me to choose her. So. Excellent. Brilliant. Thank you. Congratulations. And may you have a long career in, in video making because it was it was really it was a really lovely. OK, so on to the next highly commended. So the next highly commended is with no further ado. Is here man and Bhavya Sharma talking about Narinda Singh Kapani. Uh, um, it's me here. I'm half of the project, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I think the reason why we chose Narendra Singh Kabani was because during this whole crisis, one of the tools that we really needed was technology. And especially when we were um, collaborating on the project, we needed really um, instant communication. And the only reason why that is possible is because of um, Kabani's innovations in fiber mm. optics. Mm. Yeah, and um, adding on to his point, I think the importance of technology, like she said, is so big in our lives and the base and foundation of that is fiber optics, which we often fail to, um, you know, give due credit to. And obviously we felt therefore the founder of that um, deserved to be um, uh, um, appreciated through our video. That's a really good point. I, I mean, I feel like I've spent most of my life over the, next, over the last few months on Zoom. So, I mean, I, I can't imagine what, would, what life would be like in lockdown or trying to work or trying to study or any of those things without really fast broadband um, yeah. and all that goes with it. So I think I just felt that that was a really, really excellent thing to reflect on um, just at the moment when we're all, yeah. so, we're all so reliant on, on the internet. Um, my, daughter, my daughter always calls it high fiber broadband instead of fiber optic broadband. <laughs> <laughs> One of the brilliant things as an outcome of this competition was we actually reached out to Dr. Kapani and to share Oh, no, no way. Yeah, and to thank him for everything he's done and the influence it has in our lives. And we were extremely excited to hear back from him. And, oh, you know, wow. We should have invited interest. him along today. <laughs> this award is for him. What did he say? Um, he said that the presentation was wonderfully drawn and um, he was very happy to see it and he congratulated us. Um, oh, oh how really, what brilliant! Really, what a brilliant story! That's absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you, thank you so much for sharing for sharing that with us. We really enjoyed watching that one. Thank you for this initiative. Okay, so we move on to the next highly commended, excellent, which is with roll of drum, Eleanor Butters and Eloise Clapson McBride. Um, who made a wonderful video about Chen Chung Wu. So do we have Eleanor and Eloise? Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, we chose Chen Chung Wu because we've always been really interested in particle physics mm -hmm. and her invent or her discovery has founded like our understanding of atoms and nuclei and the parity theory. Um, so we thought it was the world around us and the science of physics we know wouldn't be the same without her. Absolutely. Fantastic. Brilliant. And thanks very much for sharing that with us. Well done. Thank uh, you. And I hope, I hope you, you carry on with physics. It's a great subject to study. Yeah. Thank you very much for this. You're, well, you're welcome. <laughs> um, so we're going to move on now, I think, to the international awards is the next category. Um, these were a real delight to watch and um, we have a winner and so with no further ado we will reveal the winner of the international award and that is Manya Oswal from Bangalore 
who made a video about Brahma Gupta. So I really hope that we have Manya with us all the way from Bangalore. Looks like we might have. Thank you so much. Hello, hi, welcome to, well, welcome to the, to the screen. Welcome, welcome from Bangalore. Tell us a little bit about your choice. So Brahma Gupta was, was a mathematician from 400 BC and imagining zeros, negative numbers and calculation with all of that before, like even Pythagoras was there. It's, it's a pretty, pretty big leap for Indian society and not knowing that were, and after knowing that it was like, it was a great opportunity for me to showcase it to the world. Mm, it was fantastic and we really loved watching it. So thank you very much and many congratulations for your award. Thank you. So we're going to move on now to the three winners. Um, and so these winners will get a trophy sent to them somehow, I guess. Um, and we have a third prize and a second prize and a first prize. All the, the highly commended and the international award winners and the audience awards will all get a nice certificate that they can show off to all their friends and family. Um, but the next three will get a trophy. Uh, and so this was really, really hard to choose, um, but we had to, and uh, we had to sort of sort them out as much as we could. So um, in third prize, roll of the drum, uh, we're going to hear from somebody we've already heard from. Um, so it's, going, it's really nice to award the third prize to Shreya Aaron um, with Gertrude Ellian. So Shreya, welcome back. That's two prizes in one competition. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Once again, thank you so much. It, it shows, you see, it shows that you have broad appeal to an, a big audience and you also have very specific appeal as well. <laughs> so I think it, it means that you're really ticking all of the boxes with your, with your video. It means that it's, you know, great to look at. It's full of good content. Uh, it's entertaining and engaging and all of those things. And that, you know, if you're going to be a scientist, you have to be able to do all of those things. You know, you have to be able to have great ideas, but you also have to be able to communicate them as well. And that's, you know, that's something that you, you can do in spades. So congratulations and thank, thank you, you once again. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the most exciting part of the of the competition, I guess, the two the first and second prizes. So um, in second prize, with no further ado, coming up, we have Harry Daisley, who um, made a wonderful video on Suzanne Lee. And so Harry, I think we have you with us now. Hello. Congratulations. It's great Thanks to have so you much. here. I really wasn't expecting to win anything. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about Suzanne Lee, because this was very unusual. My, my daughter really lobbied for this one. <laughs> um, I, I just wanted to uh, talk about someone from a creative background entering exactly. science, a less traditional route, um, and how she turned uh, her creative passions into something to help everyone yeah. in the fashion world. Yeah, so this, and I, I was really intrigued by that blend of science and fashion. I thought it was really original. Thank you. Um, and it was a great idea. And it's great to see that, you know, see the role of science in, in, in that, you know, in that part of the world, in, 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 the, whole, in the area of materials and textiles and, and fashion. So I found that one absolutely fascinating. Thank you very much. And your way of presenting was just so, you know, fresh and fun and entertaining and all of that stuff as well. So many congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so now we need to move on to the first prize. And there's the big prize here is to go behind the scenes at the BBC with Fiona Bruce at some point when that's, I guess, when that's allowed, when it's safe with, I don't know, with social distancing or whatever. Um, but I'm sure that that will be a really exciting um, thing to do. So Fiona Bruce was a student here at Hartford College. And so we've always, you know, we, we've always had a good relationship with, with Fiona. And um, I'm sure that you'll have an absolutely great time uh, meeting her and seeing how things are at the BBC with the kinds of studios she's working in and the, the way that she the way that she arranges stuff and does all that thing. So um, that would be I would love that prize myself. So um, with no further ado, we can reveal that the first prize, roll of the drum, goes to. 
Drishya Rai for her video on Howard Florey and Ernst Payne. So do we have Drishya with us? Hi, can you hear me? Hello, great <laughs> to hear you. Congratulations. Thank you. I really wasn't expecting to win. <laughs> So tell us how you came to choose how you came to choose these two scientists. Um, well, I actually first learned about both of them in my GCSE history lesson, mm. and when like the whole class when we found out and we read about their story, we were very touched. And I think it's it's such a shame that you don't really know about them as much as that you know um, Alexander Fleming. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, but it's, it's like, the idea of taking an amazing drug and then making it accessible and available for the world, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. I really wasn't expecting to win because, um, because it was all kind of like digital and I saw a lot of the other entries, well, all of the other shortlisted entries and they were so good and people had like, they drawn things and I was wondering like, Maybe you ha like you haven't done anything that's like crafty enough. Ah, well, you see, that goes to show that you don't have to be an artist to be, yeah, to be able to communicate science really well. Obviously, it's great if you are, and you're right. You know, some of the some of the standard of the animations and the drawings that went into those videos was amazing. Um, but you know, this is a this is a prize that anyone can enter that has a story to tell and is is capable of telling that story in a really fun and engaging way and that's what you were able to do so many congratulations thank you i'm so happy <laughs> so this is the second year that we've run this is the second year that we've run this competition and i think it's just thrown up an amazing array of scientists that probably most of us have never heard of and it's really given us all that opportunity to delve into those stories that we just don't get to hear about and I kind of feel like we're on a real mission now to 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 to, to get these stories out there and I'm sure this will carry on and be a really exciting project for many years to come so I really hope that those of you that have taken part this year will encourage other people from your school and other friends to join in and and enter next year because it's just such a great way of learning about science and I think that the the entries that we had this year show that you've all recognized how important science is, particularly at the moment, but always. We, you know, there's the threat of this pandemic that we're all living through. We, you, you've seen that there are, it's really important to understand science and to apply science to the world around us. And it was really telling that some of the videos that you made were very much influenced by what's going on around us today. So it was great to see that you can, you can all see the potential of science to, to really make the world um, a better place. And the other thing apart from that is that you can all see that science is really important, but so are the humanities. So that, you know, that story from our winning video was inspired by a history lesson. And um, another one of you um, talked about fashion and textiles and the science behind that. So, you're not just getting your science from your science lessons. You're seeing science in the world around you at large. And that was a really, a really great thing to see um, for us as well. Um, and so it, it goes to show that, you know, science really is for everyone. And you're the kind of people that can, that can take that message out to the world and hopefully be involved in the work and in the field for, for many, many years to come. So it's been a real, real pleasure to have the opportunity and the privilege of looking at your work. And I really hope I get to do this next year as well. So I think with that, I should hand back to Catherine. Thank you, Alison. We would be more than happy to have you back again next year. Um, so watch this space. I think that pretty much brings our event to a close. Um, I would like to say some final thanks, first of all, to Alison. Um, for presenting the awards this evening, but also for the entirely unenviable task of um, having to actually pick some winners. Uh, I, I looked at the shortlist again recently, and I'm very glad that it wasn't me who had to choose. Yeah, it's really hard, top. really hard, but great fun as well. Absolutely. I've watched all the videos so many times now, and I just love all of them. It's great. Um, yeah. 
Uh, thank you also to Nathan uh, and to Lynn for helping run the competition behind the scenes. Um, there's an awful lot of stuff that happens that you will never see. <laughs> um, and that, that's the team that, that makes sure that it all runs smoothly. Um, so big thanks to them. Um, thank you, of course, to uh, Dr. Chris Hollings for a brilliant mm, talk this evening. Really amazing um, talk, yeah. Just totally fascinating um, and a whole new angle on unsung heroes of science. Um, and finally, thank you to all of you who entered the competition, um, whether you were shortlisted, whether you won, whether you just had a go and put something in. Um, we are hugely grateful. We know you went to a lot of effort to, to put these videos together um, in quite a difficult time. Uh, so there was plenty of time um, right before the deadline when we weren't sure whether we were going to get anything in for the competition because it's been such a, a difficult few months. So we are hugely grateful for all the time and effort you put in not only to make the videos, but actually then to share them all as well. We've had astounding numbers of views on the videos this year. Um, so we uploaded them in, I forget exactly when, February or March. So they've been up for a couple of months and we're already looking at about across the board for all the shortlisted videos, something like 40,000 views wow. um, and literally hundreds of hours um, that people have spent watching these videos. Uh, and that's testament not only to how brilliant the videos are, but also uh, the effort that you've all gone to, to to share those videos and make sure those stories are heard. Um, so thank you to all of you uh, from all of us and from all of the unsung heroes of science that you have um, celebrated in your work in this competition. <laughs>